Hi, I'm Max and I'm with Auto Erotic. He just finished up his set here at the Middle East and we want to talk to him a little bit about how the set went and a little bit about new music he's got coming up. So how did you feel the set went today and you know what did you try to do while you were out there? Uh, first of all, I just want everyone to know that this is where we live and this is a, uh, also a museum of old computers and ancient machinery. So. Beyond that, the set was great. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, Boston's a fun city. Last time I was here for the House of Blues with the Demi Tour, and uh, um, that was also amazing. I mean, there's so much energy with people in Boston, and uh, um, it's an important part of EDM. I mean, like, Boston's got a great reputation for artists and shit like that. You got Terra Vita and people like that coming out of here. Um, I guess they're responsible for that other alias they go under. Uh, hot Pink DeLorean. Um, yeah, it was it was really cool. I mean, it was a mixture of uh, of like fans and new fan and like uh, new kids and stuff like that. It's a younger crowd. It's always fun to see like the youth get um, uh, you know regenerated and see the new generation of kids coming up who are down to party and sweat. By the way, it was so sweaty up there. Like it was at one point. You're like, I remember seeing you pulling your t-shirt. I was like, oh, I better get him a fan before he passes out. And it's, it's stuck to me. It's stuck to me. Like it's so drenched. It's disgusting. Like. I almost fainted and I'm so hungover already so just like, you know, I just can't wait to like rub one out and go to sleep. <laughs> I think hot sweaty uh, rave just went uh, crazy on Twitter right there, it might even be trending in Boston. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about, uh, you know, you finished up the Dead Meat Tour, you said you were just in Brazil, you know, how did that go? What else do you have going on? Uh, yeah, um, a couple days ago I was in Brazil doing the Cabala Festival in Sao Paulo with uh, Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike, Shokim Gerard, Steve Aoki, and um, this one other artist who is from Brazil, Bruno, uh, fuck, I can't remember his name, but he was amazing, really good to uh, see local talent that's like, you know, got an inter international flavor to it. Um, yeah, it was, it was crazy, I mean, we, we uh, I played right after Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike, and they went on at 10 a.m., I think I played, or they went on at 9 a.m., and I played 10 a.m. to noon, like the closing day. So this thing goes like all weekend long. Uh, it doesn't stop. They just keep rotating in DJs like 24 hours. There's no off time. Like it's just it's crazy. I did it last year in Rio also, but I think Sao Paulo was a little bit crazier. People in Brazil are fucking nuts. Yeah, they definitely go crazy. Uh, a lot of like traditional house, more to that Brazilian. Uh, like this, this it's not salsa, but uh, they definitely like that beat. Um, you know, how would you compare that, you know, tonight with your set? You know, you definitely told me, you know, you tried to do a couple different things with the crowd and weave in and out. Can you ex talk about that and let the fans kind of know what was going on in your head while you were on stage? Uh, yeah, I mean, I I, uh, I started off sort of like a club set and then I tried to do some festival stuff at a small venue that doesn't always work. Uh, but, yeah, it was interesting to, to switch it up. Uh, I tried to do a lot of new songs as well. I tried to put in a bunch of new material that I don't think people are familiar with. And when you try to do that to younger kids, often they go pretty wild for it, but sometimes you can catch them off guard. So what can we expect coming up on Dimock for you? Uh, we got a new EP called EKG EP. Um, it's three new songs. Um, it's got Roll the Drums, What the Fuck, and EKG uh, on it. We have the lead single off of it will be Roll the Drums. We have a music video for that in the works. Um, we've got a bunch of uh, remixes coming up, and we have like a secret alias project. We have a bunch of collaborations. We've got so much. It's, it's actually kind of stressful to think about. You know, you sit in a closet like this, and you try to figure out your life. And it's just so complicated. <laughs> it's stressful when you get the call from Steve as to see what's going on. Uh, no, Steve's cool. Steve's like one of the, probably one of the coolest guys in the game right now. He's so down to like, just work with people and get music out. Uh, he's, he's all about the music. Like he's one of the, I think he's one of the, um, I, he can be, you know, he can be, he can be tough to work with, but he's one of the, uh, one of the most easygoing and like, uh, I don't know. He just he just knows what's up. Like he just he just he just gets it. You know. Yeah. Can we talk about? Uh, I think what everyone wants to know: How many cakes is Steve Aoki throwing in your face? My face. He tried to do it twice. Yeah. Kept saying, "I'm going to get you with this one," and I was always like, "No, I don't do it." So no, he, he's never hit me with one. He's tried, but he's always cool about it. He asked before he even tried. He's like, "I want to hit you with this cake," and I was like, "I don't think that's a good idea." So. 
Yeah, it, uh, yeah. I think he throws a cake every show. Um, so I'd say he's probably thrown 937 cakes as of right now. 938. That's impressive. Definitely keeping the bakeries in the game. Uh, I know the, the new uh, tracks that he talked about. I know I saw him up on his SoundCloud as SoundCloud as a little mash together. So you can definitely check that out there. I believe it's what's the uh, web address for that? Uh, SoundCloud.com slash granny nanny titties dot juice spot dot bangladesh dot org you heard it here first secret alias project on edmboston.com uh so enjoy that guys you know this is our time with auto erotic i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time yeah.